Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and we all know what day it is. Saturday. Slashback Saturday. Now this is a segment I do, created by my very good friend Joe the Horror Man, called the Slashback Saturday Challenge. This is where we pick a slasher, based on a certain theme, watch it during the week, and do a review. Now this week's theme is revenge. So what better slasher film to do than one that has revenge in the title? The film of which I speak is Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Now this has pretty much always been looked at as a slasher, although I can see why some people would think it wouldn't be, but I do consider it a slasher. And a pretty darn good one at that. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Jay Super Awesome for sending me this. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorites. And it is quite hard to find and to get on VHS, on DVD, or any other format. <laughs> um, yeah. I almost bought one years ago, a DVD for $5.00. And I've been kicking myself ever since because these are quite hard to come by. So thank you so much, dude. I really do appreciate it. Now, this was a funny one because I almost did this last week for the Animal Challenge. Because this has a cobra kill in it. And it also has rodents. Then I almost did it for Love is in the Scare. Because of the romance between Eric and... And Susie. But things work out how they're supposed to. And this is definitely a good one for our topic this week. Which is revenge. Now, Phantom of the Mall. Eric's Revenge is a 1989 film. Which runs approximately 91 minutes. 1989. That was the year I graduated high school. Whew long time ago now this is directed by Richard Friedman and he has a few horror titles in his in his uh, resume uh, one is called Born which looks like a demonic possession film which I've never seen but really want to another one called Death Mask which I'm not sure if I've seen the the Horror Man show that one. That seems like one that I've seen that he's made his own DVD to. But I can't remember. Uh, Doom Asylum, which was released on Arrow not that long ago. And another movie that's going to be released on Arrow in the next month or two called Scared Stiff. And I can't wait to see that one. Now this stars Derek Rydell as Eric Matthews, our main character. He was in Popcorn and Night Visitor. The stars Robert Estes as Peter Baldwin. He was in The Uninvited, Melrose Place, and a show that my wife and I used to watch, kind of like a mystery um, cop show called Silk Stalkings. This also has Pauly Shore as Buzz. Of course, Pauly Shore was in Encino Man and Son-in-Law, which are probably my two favorites by him. But he was in a ton of movies. Uh, Kimber Sissons as Susie. She was in The Adventures of Ford Fairlane and Doogie Hauser. And we have some... I guess, horror alum in this one. We have Tom Fridley as Justin. Now, he was Court in Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. We have Morgan Fairchild as the mayor. And she, of course, was in The Seduction, which is the one I did for Love is in the Scare. And we have Ken Foray as Accardi. He was in Dawn of the Dead, the original. Also had a bit part in the remake. 
He was in The Devil's Rejects and The Lords of Salem. I mean, you just can't keep this guy out of the mall, can you? <laughs> now, a, a brief synopsis on this one. Eric was badly burned as a result of a so-called accident. Um, his girlfriend is working in the mall a year later in this brand new state-of-the-art mall that's been put up, which is one of the campaign kind of targets for the mayor and the guy who owns the mall. You find out more about the kind of the sinister way the mall was created later on in the film. But Eric basically lives underneath the mall, and he is picking off people that cross him one by one. That's kind of where I'm going to leave it. There is more to the film, but this is a fun, fun movie. And it's very different, I believe, from other slashers, because you kind of get to know the the um, the slasher a little bit. And you kind of feel sorry for him. You kind of understand where he's coming from as far as why he's doing the things he's doing. So this kind of appeals in a very different way. Not to mention, he's quite the athletic type. And I'm going to kind of leave it there. Those of you who have seen the movie kind of understand where I'm getting with this, where I'm going with this. But um, yeah, it's a different type of slasher movie. I like where they took this one. This has always been a favorite of mine, and it has been so long since I've seen it. So thank you so much, uh, Jack, for sending me this. I really do appreciate it, and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Uh, this is a must-own for any slasher fan, I, I think, because it's a very different take on slasher movies. But that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. Have you seen Phantom of the Mall? Eric's Revenge. What do you think? Definitely comment below and let me know. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.